Hi students, as a part of polymers today, I am going to explain you about the special type of polymers. So actually these are the polymers should be there in the market. Only these polymers should be there in the market. But unfortunately, so very few number of uh, these polymers are there in the market. So whatever the polymers about which I have explained to you in the previous videos like polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, nylon 66, polyester, bakelite and rubbers, conducting polymers, all are non-biodegradable polymers. So since they are non-biodegradable polymers, if they are burnt, if they are burnt, then they leads to the evolution of uh, enormous amount of uh, the carbon dioxide which leads to air pollution if they are dumped into the water bodies then uh, it leads to the water pollution if they are directly dumped into the or onto the land then poor cattle eats that particular non-biodegradable polymers and as uh, these polymers are non-biodegradable. They will stuck inside the intestine and the intestine will not function properly by which the metabolism or metabolic activities of each and every organ of a body will not be proper enough. Eventually, the cattle will die. So this is what happening with the conventional polymers. Conventional polymers. So, now we need the polymers which do undergo the degradation biologically. So those polymers which do undergo the degradation biologically are nothing but the biodegradable polymers. So about these polymers only I am going to explain to you today. So biodegradable polymers. A lot of research is going on now on this particular biodegradable polymers but unfortunately we have very fever number of biodegradable polymers uh, like uh, polyvinyl alcohol, polyvinyl acid and uh, polylactic acid and so on. So a lot of work, work is going on that has expect uh, uh, more number of uh, uh, the biodegradable polymer in the future uh, as uh, there are uh, so many hazardous effects or adverse effects associated with the non-biodegradable polymers. Now we, to be precise enough what is the exact definition of uh, biodegradable polymers? These are the polymers which undergo degradation under natural conditions by the action of bacteria, algae and fungi. So these are the polymers which undergo degradation under natural conditions by the action of bacteria, algae and fungi. Those are nothing but biodegradable polymers. So in this category of biodegradable polymers, we are going to discuss about uh, the polyvinyl alcohol. Polyvinyl alcohol is one of the biodegradable polymers. So since polyvinyl alcohol is a polymer, so definitely the expected monomer is vinyl alcohol. But this uh, expected monomeric unit uh, is uh, highly unstable because uh, the vinyl alcohol will rapidly convert to acetaldehyde under normal conditions. So that is the reason vinyl alcohol is not commercially available. So since vinyl alcohol which is the expected monomeric unit for the preparation of polyvinyl alcohol is not commercially available for us, so definitely we have to go with the, the alternate of vinyl alcohol which can produce the polyvinyl alcohol which is the biodegradable. So do remember students that uh, by treating the polyvinyl acetate with methanol under basic conditions that is in the presence of sodium hydroxide, polyvinyl acetate can be converted into a polyvinyl alcohol. But how to get the polyvinyl acetate? So polyvinyl acetate uh, is the polymer, so definitely expected monomer is uh, the vinyl acetate. So now, now what is the structure of the vinyl acetate? How to get the structure of the vinyl acetate? So do remember students that vinyl acetate is the derivative of uh, ethylene. 
It is the derivative of ethylene which is formed by replacing one hydrogen from one carbon of ethylene by acetate group. Acetate means O C double bond O C H three. So what is ethylene? Ethylene is nothing but a C H two double bond C H two. So this can be written as C H two double bond C H H. Yes, I am elaborating the structure. I am not doing anything. It is uh, as usual. So, if one of this hydrogen from one carbon of ethylene is replaced by acetate O, C double bond O, CH3, then we are going to get uh, the vinyl acetate. Vinyl acetate. Now, in order to get the structure of uh, polyvinyl acetate, we have to rely or depend upon the vinyl acetate structure. Now, what is vinyl acetate? Just now we got the vinyl acetate structure CH2 double bond CH O C double bond O CH3. CH3. What is this, friends? This is vinyl acetate. Vinyl acetate. So from the vinyl acetate, what we are going to obtain, we are going to obtain the starting material required for the preparation or synthesis of polyvinyl alcohol, which is the polyvinyl acetate. Now this vinyl acetate is a single unsaturated monomeric unit, and we are well versed to that a single unsaturated monomeric unit will undergo addition or chain rule for the addition. So n number of molecules of vinyl acetate. Undergo addition or chain growth polymerization. Chain growth polymerization. So during addition or chain growth polymerization, nothing will happen to the structure of the molecule, but only the thing is uh, double bond gets reduced to the single bond, and whatever the number which is there before the monomeric unit uh, will become subscript in the case of polymer. So accordingly, CH2, there is no change. And double bond is getting reduced to single bond during the addition of chain growth polymerization. There is no change in CH. There is no change at O. There will be no change at C double bond O. There will be no change at CH3. CH3. But whatever the number that is N, which is that before the monomeric unit becomes subscript in the polymer. So now we got the polyvinyl acetate, which is the starting material. Required for the preparation of a polyvinyl alcohol, which is a biodegradable alcohol. Now, this in presence of methanol, students, this in presence of methanol, so methanol under basic conditions, that is uh, in presence of sodium hydroxide, basic conditions are being maintained. So, whenever the basic conditions are being maintained, what happens is this bond between O and C double bond O is clipped, clipped makes it break, and this hydrogen, which is a part of uh, the methanol, will be grabbed by the most electronegative oxygen atom. So that is what exactly happens. The remaining is one and same. So accordingly, there won't be any change over here. CH2 as usual. Next single bond, there is no change at the single bond. Next is CH. Oh, there is a change because this most electronegative oxygen atom is grabbing the hydrogen from the methanol under the basic conditions in the presence of sodium hydroxide. So O, O is grabbing hydrogen. O, H, O, H. Next to single bond, subscript N. So this is polyvinyl alcohol. Polyvinyl alcohol, which is one of the very important biodegradable. I hope you understood about the biodegradable concept and one of the examples that is polyvinyl alcohol. Thanks to you.